Okay, this is um, an experiment in um, uh, the Euler line. It's uh, three sets of three lines that are drawn um, using the midpoints of the sides. Like, uh, let me see if I can get it here. See, these are the midpoints of the three sides of the triangle. And uh, one point is with these three points right here are, is, are what's called the Euler line. These always end up in a straight line and this distance here is twice the distance of this. Okay so then you take a, a ruler and you draw you you know do a really fine light line draw that to the vertex across from it same thing here from this midpoint to the vertex over here midpoint to the vertex over here that creates this point right there okay and then uh, you take a, a 90 degree angle from this point in the center perpendicular to this line right here and you end up with from each side see this is a 90 degree from here and 90 degree from here is a very short line from the side to the point that makes that point right there on the Euler line then you go with another uh, line which is perpendicular to the vertex which is you do from the point here to the 90 degree line here you end up with this one let's see Oh no, this one here. So I go 90 degrees from this line to the point. I end up with a line, a little mark right there. And I go 90 degrees from this line to this point. And 90 degrees from the point here that intersects with this. It's almost the same as that dot, but I end up with a dot right there. So I use the uh, C major proportions. So this would be kind of like the length of the strings. If a C is six inches long, I just made that up as a proportional thing. The proportion of the other two notes in the C major chord are G and E. And I drew those lengths in their proportions. For the C chord, if, if a C is six inches long, the G will be four inches long. That's according to physics, you know, of music. That's the, I drew out a, a spreadsheet for all that. And um, <clears throat> if you were to look those ratios up, you could find that that's the case. And then this is 4.75 inches for the E. So those are the three ratios. And that makes a triangle. You know, it's kind of like a vector. Then I measured these, <coughs> the lengths of the two of the points in the Euler line and I related that that ends up being the notes A in two different octaves which are up above this octave somewhere a couple of octaves up then this whole distance between the two endpoints is a D so that's the ratios how they work out with the Euler line I, the Euler line has a phenomenal thing where it always ends up in a straight line the three points always end up in a straight line and between two of the dots is half the distance as it is between the other two and so it's kind of a phenomenal thing about triangles that this always happens so I thought I'd try to apply it to music this is what I end up for the C major chord is a C uh, e and G for the outer <laughs> triangle and then the uh, Euler line ends up being A and D that's for the C major chord so this is string length ratios and relative ratios and I wrote here for the C major of uh, the three notes of the C major are C E G and the Euler notes that end up being created by the Euler line uh, Euler was a Swiss mathematician from the 1700s and he found that this was the case always in a straight line and half the distance between two dots as it is between the other two 
And these are the Euler notes that I came up with D and A. So that ends up being the second and the sixth in that C major key. So now I have two others. I have the C minor. C minor ends up with a C using the six inches as the base. The G ends up being the same, it's four inches. But the E flat, which is the flatted third, ends up being five inches. And the Euler notes end up being C and F. C in two different octaves and F as the overall of the two dots. And I can show that how I got these these ratios uh, to at some point. It's uh, 3rd of uh, March on 2014. Anyway, um, the triangle for the, uh, C, the C minor is C, E flat, and G. And the Euler line notes end up being C and F. Okay, so now I've got another one for the C sus 2. C sus 2 has a real interesting ratios. Okay, again, string lengths, ratios. And I use a C as the base, a C note for the C sus chord, C suspended sat 2. That's C sus 2 chord, which is a C and a G. Of course, that's the fifth. The, the, uh, a, the second note, which is a, the, like a dropped, uh, from the third to the second is a sus chord, C sus 2. So I end up with a C, a D, and a G. And those lengths end up being 6 inches, 4 inches for the fifth, and 5.345 for the 5.345 inches for the um, D note. And I end up with a D and a G in the order line, which are in octaves up higher and higher octaves. So anyway, the, the um, Euler triangle, the Euler line ends up generating for the triangle of the C sus 2 chord. Triangle is C, D, G. Those are the notes. I end up with a D and a G in the Euler line. This is really amazing. But they're way up on the higher octaves. The lengths of them determine like you'd be pushing on the string of the guitar. That's how short those notes would be. They'd be uh, kind of way up there on the guitar string. Or the piano keys, you know, where the, the strings, as you notice, the piano has short strings toward the high notes and the longer strings on the low notes. Anyway, so there it is. I've done three triangles.